let's begin this evening's award ceremony with our first national award. So when you are called on stage, you will end, um, go up to those stairs over there and the presenter will present you with your award. Our first award is the Air Force Association Award. This award is presented to the overall outstanding cadet who is ranked in the upper 5% of their AFJ ROTC class and demonstrates a positive attitude, displays strong personal attributes, which include initiative, good judgment, and self-confidence. Presenting this award tonight is Mr. Aaron McGregor, and the recipient is Cadet Petty. Award, the the Tedalian Award is presented to a cadet who is ranked in the top 10% of their AFGRTC class and top 20% of their high school class as an understanding and appreciation of patriotism, love of country, and service to the nation. The presenting award is Erin McGregor, and the recipient is Cadet Vincent. However, she is quarantined, so accepting on her, on her behalf is the group commander, Cadet Petty. Next award is the American Legion Scholastic Excellence Award. It's presented to three cadets that are in the top 5% of their ROTC class and top 25% of their high school class. They've demonstrated excellent leadership qualities. Our presenter for tonight is Roger Beaton. Can we please have our bronze award winner, Cadet Mockville, come to the stage. Award. It's presented to three cadets that have demonstrated outstanding discipline, leadership, character, and citizenship. Our presenter for tonight is Jim Grimes. Our first award winner is Cadet Hooptail. She's not here. Do we have a sports award by chance? Sorry? <laughs>
award is the Daughters of the American Revolution Award. It is presented to a fourth year cadet who demonstrates adherence to military discipline and, qual and qualities of dependability and good character. Presenting this award is Mary Morgan, and the recipient is Cadet Elsby. But accepting the award on his behalf is the Deputy Group Commander, Jennings. Our next award is the American Veterans Award. It's presented to one qualified cadet who possesses individual characteristics contributing to leadership such as a positive attitude, personal appearance, attain an A in your aerospace science class, and be good and be in good scholastic standing. Our presenter is Senior Master Sergeant Ryan Hart, and our recipient is Cadet Szymanski. certificate is presented in recognition of an outstanding performance in leadership, citizenship, academics, and community affairs. Our presenter, again, is Senior Master Sergeant Reinhardt. Our recipient is Cadet April. Toward AFTRTC and the country. 
This cadet has held a leadership position in the Cadet Corps and is active in community affairs. Our presenter is Mr. Brian McCarthy. Your cadet receiving this award is Cadet Davis. of the American Colonist Award. It's presented to a cadet who has demonstrated the qualities of leadership, dependability, military discipline, patriotism, and is an exceptional academic. Our presenter is Barb Allison. We're gonna have Cadet Jackson come to the stage. in the upper 25 of their AFJRGC in high school class and possesses the qualities of loyalty, patriotism, and perseverance as exemplified by those who assisted in the establishment, defense, and preservation of the American colonies. Our presenter is again Barb Allison, and our recipient is Cadet McKee. Yeah. The next 
award is the Retired Enlisted Association Award. It's awarded to a cadet who shows excellent leadership qualities within the enlisted ranks and is, and is an outstanding role model within the ROTC program. Our presenter is your Master Sergeant Reinhardt, and can we please have Cadet Kirsten Campbell come to the stage. States Daughters of 1812 Award is presented annually to a cadet who has demonstrated the qualities of leadership, military discipline, dependability, patriotism, and upright character in speech and habits, which exemplify the ideals upon which our nation was founded. Our presenter is Barb Allison, and our recipient is Cadet Keenan. Jackson, Cadet Lopez, Cadet McKee, Cadet Mockville, Cadet Sledder, and Cadet Benson. Outstanding, outstanding Cadet Awards are presented to outstanding cadets in each year of AFJROTC and are based on high moral character, positive attributes, military potential, and academic and military excellence. Excellence. Our first year recipient is Cadet, I hope I don't mess this up, Abdullah Rasulo.
second year recipient is Cadet David. recipient, Cadet Petty. Congratulations to Cadet Sledder and Cadet James. for significant achievement and accomplishment during the academic year. When your name is called, please come up to receive your ribbon. Cadet Fike, Cadet Jennings, Cadet Petty, Cadet Vincent, Cadet Davis, and Cadet Slaughter. presented to each of our outstanding cadets of the quarter for sustained performance in AFCROC academic leadership. Each of these cadets has proven their dedication and commitment to bettering themselves and their communities, and thus are each being presented with a certificate of recognition and a ribbon. Every cadet should look up to them as role models, as they show what it means to be an AFCROC cadet. For our second year quarter board, we decided to choose a first year cadet as well as a returning cadet for winners. Our first quarter winner was Cadet Kaminsky.
this award, cadets must achieve a minimum grade point average of 3.0 and an A in their ROTC for the first and second semesters of the 2020 to 2021 school year. Please stand if you have received this award. Special teams competition ribbon is given to team members for placing first, second, or third in an Air Force or Joint Service competition, <laughs> including but not limited to, limited to color guard teams, drill teams, and cyber, te cyber patriot teams. Please stand if you have received this award. before school and drill competitions. Please stand if you have received this award. <laughs> Next up is the Good Conduct Ribbon. It is presented to cadets who have displayed good conduct and in out of school and have not received any out of school suspensions. Please stand if you receive this award. <laughs>
this, an additional device will be awarded to all cadets who scored above this required threshold set by AHRTC. In the 80th percentile from physical test, fitness test, will receive a bronze star device. 90 to 95 percentile will receive a silver star device, and 96 to 100 percent will receive a gold star device. This is based on first semester PT scores. We'd like to re recognize the following cadets for exceeding all the standards, earning the bronze star, Cadet Tommy Whitefoot, Cadet Ormsby, and Cadet Sledder. Earning the Silver Star, Cadet Fetty. Yeah. Nobody gets a gold star. So. <laughs> uh, the recruiting ribbon is presented to cadets for outstanding effort in supporting, in support of the unit recruiting activities, and participated in two recruiting events this year, helping us helping us make students aware of how AFJRTC positively benefits the student body, school, and community. Please stand as you receive this award. The activities ribbon is presented to cadets who have participated in co-curricular activities other than those that qualify for special team competitions ribbons, such as color guard and the drill team. This includes, but is not limited to, the academic team, Sour Patriot, Stellar Explorers, and Raiders. Please stand if you have received this award. All right, we'll go to the longevity, that's fine. No. <laughs> All right, there's no slide for the uh, activities ribbon, that was it. But we already did that one, so we're going to move on to the dress and appearance ribbon. It is awarded to cadets who wore their uniform every established uniform day and received an 85% or higher for the uniform grade each time. Please stand if you receive this award. Longevity ribbon. This ribbon is given annually to cadets who have completed one whole year of AFGRTC. Please stand if you receive this award. We would now like to commemorate the cadets who have gone above and beyond and devoted themselves to a greater cause the program. These cadets have committed a large portion of their year working and bettering the co-curricular or team that they are on. We'd like to begin by recognizing this year's drill commanders, whose dedication, leadership, and commitment have led to another successful year for the drill team. Please come up to receive your certificate when your name is called. Cadet Betty, Cadet McKee, Cadet Infanto, Cadet Williams, Cadet Ormsby, Cadet Diedrich, Cadet Seaton, Cadet Fike, Cadet Knapper, and Cadet Davis.
our varsity level graders team who will be competing at the Genesee Grader competition this Saturday. Please come up to the stage and receive a certificate when your name is called. Cadet Petty, Cadet Williams, Cadet Mick, Cadet Runyon, Cadet Raffensperger, Cadet Denning, Cadet Rosenberry, Cadet Jackson, Cadet Mickey, and Cadet Jano. Returning and most definitely improving this year was our Cyber Patriot team. Cyber Patriot is the National Youth Cyber Education Program created to help direct students towards careers in cybersecurity or other STEM disciplines. The program was created by the Air Force Association and features the National Youth Cyber Defense Competition for high school and middle school students. This year, our varsity level team placed second in the all service division for the entire state of Michigan. Lieutenant Colonel Franz would like to recognize these cadets with a challenge for Please come up when your name is called. The Platinum Team, Cadet Fetty, Cadet Fight, Cadet Jackson, Cadet Szymanski, Cadet Warnke, and Cadet Vincent. Our silver team, Cadet Infanto, Cadet Raffensberger, Cadet Seaton, Cadet Dennis, Cadet Smallwood, and Cadet William. Yeah. And finally, our silver team too, two man strong, Cadet Purdy and Cadet Lee. Six year row, some of our cadets competed in the International Stellar Explorers competition. Stellar Explorers is a challenging online space system design competition involving all aspects of systems development and operation with a spacecraft slash payload focus. This year, over 200 teams competed from all over the world. This year was once again another learning experience. The team did not quite make it to the final round, but Lieutenant Colonel Franz would like to recognize the team members with a challenge point and a certificate. Please come up when your name is called. The A team, Cadet Slutter, Cadet LaRock, Cadet Nick, Cadet Patterson, and Cadet Szymanski.
team. Cadet Jennings, Cadet Fife, Cadet Jackson, and Cadet Vincent. the graduating AFJ ROTC seniors in attendance. These seniors have served in many leadership positions, mentored their underclassmen, participated in many events, and ultimately became a role model for their fellow wingmen. They have made many positive contributions over the time in the program and will be dearly missed as they begin their next chapter in their lives. When your name is called, please line up on stage to receive your certificate and remain on stage until you are dismissed. Please hold your applause until all the names have been read. The senior completion certificates are presented to the graduate, graduating cadets for the service and completion of the AFJ ROTC program. The second year cadets are Morgan Charette, Marissa DeBello, Ariana Napper, and Amaya Obispo. The third year cadets are Leo Goki and Cadet JAX. The fourth year cadets are Luke Brewer, Isabella Infranto, Bronte Jacupi, Joshua Jennings, Megan LaRock, Sophia LaMasters, Brooke McFarland, Ethan Ornsby, Nicholas Petty, Carter Ripito, Ty Vigerman, and Devin Welch. are presented to cadets who have continued to make a positive impact in the AFJ ROTC program as well as our high school and community. To the cadets that have received these cords, this is the unit's way of recognizing all the hard work you have put into bettering the program and serving the community. The military service cords are presented to seniors who have made a commitment to serve their country after high school. <coughs> Will the following cadets please step forward? Cadet Luke Brewer, Air Force ROTC. <laughs> Cadet Isabella Infanto, enlisted in the United States Marine Corps. <laughs> Cadet Megan Morat, Air Force ROTC. Cadet Joshua Jennings, Air Force ROTC. <laughs> Cadet Nicholas Petty, enlisted in the United States Air Force as a battleman, battlefield airman. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations again to our seniors. This year has definitely been unique and you all rose to the challenge and made, your, and made your senior year the best. You only have 17 days left of school. You're almost there. 17 days. Guardians, teachers, 
Bush and Colonel Fran, who's better than I heard. And everyone else who has supported us and helped us get to this point. From the infinite wisdom and guidance to the hours of sitting through Sergeant's very exciting leadership class and Colonel's survival class, aviation class, and more, nothing has made me happier than being a part of this program and creating these wonderful relationships with the people around us. For those who don't know me, I'm Cadet Jennings, Deputy Commander of Howard's Air to Sea. I'm a fourth year cadet, meaning I've been around the block. So naturally, I reflected on my legacy and impact my footprint left on the program. I asked myself, how have I changed the functions and people of the program? Simply put, is the program better off? I indulged in these questions for some time before I snapped my focus on my freshman year. I was quiet and kept to myself, never talking up, not so much as raising my hand. I rarely participated and was content in breezing through the program like any regular class. However, many other freshman cadets, now the senior cadets, shifted my perspective. They helped me participate more and more, and, more, and I learned more from each of these cadets. From learning fellowship and drill, how to follow as a flight commander, to implementing fun as a deputy commander, and finally learning family through it all, seriously, these senior cadets, along with cadets of the past and present, impacted me greatly. I'm sure this story is very similar to that of many other cadets, because in this program, personal growth and change is definite. This program, and more specifically, the fantastic cadets, instructors, and parents in this program, created an environment that has inspired growth and continues to nurture cadets. Thank you, Coach Jennings. I'd just like to take this time and say thank you to this year's staff. It's truly been an honor working with you all. So this speech isn't for the class of 2021. It's for your freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, so listen up. During your past nine plus years of school, you've been stuck with the same group of kids, same classmates, same friends, and for some of you, this will never change. Though I quickly learned my freshman year that through this program, you have the opportunity to meet and make wonderful relationships these relationships won't blossom unless you act. This year I learned so much about relationships. Some people know me as an intimidating, closed off guy, but I have feelings too. <laughs> this year I have learned that it's okay to be vulnerable and it's okay to ask for the, for the help from the people around you. This program is based on the support of each other and I can't emphasize this enough. And so this is what I tell you, go out and make a new friend Find someone that's struggling and take them under your wing. And lastly, cherish those around you and don't take them for granted because time flies. Well said, Betty. Time really flies when surrounded by friends and family. Before you know it, you will be seniors, just like us, taking your first steps towards adulthood and experiencing a world outside of high school. Right now, you're creating a path towards your future, so don't forget to take the time to soak in everything that's happening around you and make sure that you are making the most of your life right now. High school's the time to have fun and create everlasting memories. <laughs> Lastly, I will always remember Colonel, Sergeant, everyone on the Raiders team, Sever Patriot team, and Drill team. I especially wanted to thank you cadets. Jano, Szymanski, Seaton, Diedrich, Fike, and Vincent. It truly saddens me that I'm leaving this program. You've all been like a second family to me. Colonel and Sergeant, you're by far the best teacher and mentors I've ever had. I've learned so much from the two of you, and both of you don't get the proper recognition they deserve. So once again, I thank you. <laughs> and cadets, over the last four years, I've learned to follow, lead, and love this program and everyone within it. I hope that all the future cadets in this program find what I have found. And that's the sense of family, the feeling of joy and excitement, and the love for the program. Every single time I walk into the classroom, it puts a smile on my face. And that wouldn't be possible without any of you. Though my time in high school is almost up, I know that the program is heading in the right direction and it's in very good hands. And just one more time, in case I haven't said it enough, thank you for everyone that's made this year as great as it was. So thank you. change of command and we have to say farewell uh, not goodbye but see you later to our what I refer to this year as our top four uh, <laughs> Cadet Petty, Cadet Ormsby, Cadet Jennings and Cadet Encanto. Uh, 
they've done such a good job, and you know you've done a good job when the people behind you are ready to lead. And you guys have mentored them, and they are ready to lead. Which leads me to my next uh, hard decision I had to make. Uh, since the class of 2022's freshman year, I knew that they were a special class. Uh, I bragged about them a lot. You know, they're very sharp, willing, motivated. Uh, so I was so excited for them to become seniors until I had to make that decision of who was going to be the group commander. Uh, so our group commanders for next year, we will have two similar to this year. Our two group commanders are going to be first semester Cadet Fike. semester, it will be Cadet Vincent. Yeah. Uh, we saw how well it worked out this year, having the continuity between the two. So the perfect choice is Cadet Jackson to be the deputy group commander for the entire year. Further ado, let's conduct our change of command ceremony. Cadet Fike, would you please come up? At this time, would Cadet Colonel Putty, Cadet Major Fike, and Cadet Master Sergeant Pronto please come forward for the change of command ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now proceed with the change of command. Ladies and gentlemen, Cadet Fike, the new M2, MI-20141 Group Commander. Yeah! This concludes the change of command ceremony. Cadet Chief Master Sergeant is the ninth enlisted grade of the Air Force Junior ROTC program. Cadet Chief Master Sergeants are to be referred to as Chief or Chief Master Sergeant by other cadets at this rank. A Chief will serve as the Group Wing Senior Enlisted Advisor. They are to represent all of the enlisted cadets of the program. They will work hand in hand with the Group Commander and all issues that affect the enlisted cadets. In my 11 years of teaching Air Force Junior ROTC, I have not had a Cadet Chief Master Sergeant or a Command Chief Master Sergeant. And that will change tonight. We've selected who we feel can best serve in this position. This Gazette has excelled in the classroom, and her fitness scores sets the example of how to wear the uniform, and most importantly, she has shown she can care for and lead cadets. Ladies and gentlemen, the first ever Command Chief Master Sergeant for Hollow High School MI201, effective tonight, is Cadet Leah Slevin.
Okay. <laughs> um, fun facts about myself. I actually did not join the program until like a month into my freshman year because I kind of thought Rocky was weird. You know, that, that was a thought that crossed my mind. So, um, the way that went down is I was actually like in health class and I already knew everything in health. I was like, oh, I probably don't need to be here. I know all this stuff. So I tested out. And the only available class was class, was the, the weird kid Rocky class. <laughs> so I, uh, I did that and it was a fun time. Um, so like the first day that I like went to ROTC, um, I followed, like head, like hid behind, you know, kind of sheltered behind Lillian Vincent. She like walked me up from the FC to the 1012. I had my book in my hand, you know, I kind of just read my book the entire time for about like two weeks. Um, the, it was just, I got my book out, I sat down, I read, class started, put my book away, class ended, got my book back out, didn't talk to a single person. It was a fun time. It was great. <laughs> um, but then, you know, that, that was the thing. And then, as Colonel likes to say, I was normal and quiet for about two weeks. And then, boom, it happened. I stopped doing that. Because, yes, y'all. Um, <laughs> because I heard about a lot of fun stuff that Rocky did. So I started doing all of those things, like going to events and getting involved in community service. And my poor mom, had to drive me to every single event Rocky ever had. Yeah. I didn't miss a single one my freshman or sophomore year. And during sophomore year was inspection. So she had to drive me to drill practice in the morning at six o'clock, pick me up after school about 5.30, six o'clock, and then just run me every single place I needed to go for Rocky. So thanks mom, that was cool. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I wouldn't, I've been working towards, I've heard about this position freshman year, and I've kind of been, I had my eyes on it, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, I think I'm going to do that. So since my freshman year, I've been really working hard to get here. I've been working behind the scenes, doing everything I can to help the program, just because I really wanted to help everybody, and it just, it looked like a great time, and I love working behind the scenes. So this is kind of my jam. So it's a perfect opportunity for me. Um, yeah, so that was pretty, pretty sweet. So after that, you know, I've been working up here and I'm really, really, really thankful that everyone helped me get here. Cause I've been practically, I guess it sounds cheesy, but I've been dreaming about it for like a while. <laughs> so I'm really thankful to everybody here on the stage, everybody not on the stage, especially my mom, thank you a lot. <laughs> um, because definitely without you guys, I would not have made it here. So that's pretty sweet. Um, yes, and I'm really, really, really looking forward to working <coughs> with a lot of super cool people this year, including the one, the only, deputy commander for this 2021, 2022 school year. Drum roll, please. Reinhardt for their unlimited wisdom, but instead I'd like to thank all of you. 
All of the cadets in our program that take countless hours to make MIT 01 the best student in Michigan, in Michigan, and to me, the best in the world. It is those crazy days that I'm sure we all stop and ask ourselves, why do we do it? I know I ask myself that same question today. And the answer I came to is that I don't do it for the glory or the positions and titles. I do it all for you. So thank you for showing up, looking your best, and for the best of all the call, allow me to represent you as your new deputy group commander. Thank you. really short because I'm very sweaty. Um, okay, so this is a brand new position, so I'm still trying to figure it out, as are you. So my posi official position is the Command Chief Master Sergeant of MI20141. That role basically includes me being in charge of all the enlisted ranks, and being in charge of the enlisted ranks being most of the underclassmen. And this year, I had the honor and privilege of being the flight commander for the freshman flight, Echo. I am beyond proud of this flight that I have they have exceeded my expectations by far, and I'm so excited to work again close with them next year. Um, it's also very important in this program, I think, to prove that you can be an enlisted, you can be an enlisted rank and still hold a very, very high up leader's position. Officer ranks do not mean higher ranking or do not mean about higher authority or anything like that. Enlisted ranks are very cool just as well. I also think they look cooler, not gonna lie. Um, and I am very excited to start this role and like make it my own so that in the future years there could be another uh, Command Chief Master Sergeant of MI20141. Maybe it's one of my freshmen sitting in their seat right now, maybe it's one of the junior, the soon to be junior cadets. I don't know, but I am super excited to see this role. And yeah, I'll keep it short and sweet because I know it's kind of late and we're all kind of warm, but yeah, I'm excited and shout out to Echo for being the best ever. So yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming up.